Okay, for this particular video, we're going to focus on creating a, a unique library for some of your data that you may be working with. We're going to go over uh, an example of how to create uh, maybe like quartiles or quintiles and um, just some save options that you may wish to consider um, for uh, possibly building on or adding to uh, data sets as you manipulate them. So the first thing we got to do is we've got to import some data um, to show you some examples here. And uh, I'm going to click on the uh, big combined 1990 data set. It's automatically prompted everything. It's not there yet till I hit the little running button. Hitting the running button, so now it's all there. So I've got some data in there. I could have done this other step I'm going to do next first. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to go into this little libraries here. And I'm going to click on my libraries and I'm going to right click anywhere in here, you know, doesn't matter. New library. And I can give it any uh, name that I want to that is like eight characters or less. So I'm just going to call it like uh, MPH uh, data. All right. Now, path, I have to tell it where this is located. On traditional SAS, you would maybe assign a place on your hard drive you know, C colon slash whatever if you're a Windows user or on Mac the, the command might look a little different but this is putting uh, where it's going to go out on your hard drive so in this case it's not going on the hard drive it's going on this uh, SAS Studio server so here's where it's going to put this um, and it's uh, going to go there I'm going to tell it to go ahead and bring this back every time I open up SAS Studio and I'm going to hit OK and there it is so under my libraries I have to open it up and there is an area called MPH data now there's nothing in MPH data um, now in our work files there's a few files that you know we previously imported or, or just now um, you know the log on this work.import1 so um, work.import1 is this big combined data set I think import is as well um, from previous but anyways um, we've got all the information there on creating a new library called MPH data and um, on that import you know it imported our data to a um, you know to an area but whenever we work with it you know it's going to be pulling from this import area and work is a, a, a temporary uh, location uh, in many regards so just letting you know that and uh, we'll go up to um, do an example of saving something into that library and also introducing you to a um, quintile or quartile type uh, command that will allow you to rank data alright so I'm gonna go up to uh, task and utilities and the tasks that we're going to focus on here of all of our stat tools that we've got one of them here is called data and there are a variety of data manipulation tools that are out there but one of them we're going to check and use here is the rank data now rank data pulls up this uh, command I'm going to shrink that or pulls up this kind of screen here over here is the code sheet for rank data now I have got data that I've previously pulled in here that may be missing, but uh, I'm going to go to work. Um, I think the most recent one we pulled in here was, you know, under this work, it was this import one. Okay, so that's the most recent data set. Now I'm going to hit the plus button here and we'll look at what we're going to rank. Say I'm interested in ranking household income into like eight groups, you know, lowest income to highest income, you know, eight different groups. I have to find my household income variable. So we find our household income variable. So here's our initial command, work.import1, and it's going to rank them out equals work dot rank zero 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 one that's where it's going to put it now the options here 
Right now the default setting is to rank the counties from lowest to highest and where there are ties, SAS has a default method for sorting that out. But it's ranking them from highest to lowest, from zero all the way up to like 3,100 or whatever, however many data are in here. I can click on options and change it from rankings to like quantiles. Um, under quantiles, the default setting is quartiles, where we would have four groups from you know the the lowest to the 25th percentile, the stuff between the 25th and 50th percentiles, 50th to 75th percentile, and the stuff that's above the 75th percentile. So that it would create four groups. Deciles would create, I imagine, 10 groups. You know, zero being the lowest, 10 being the highest, if we use smallest to largest. Entile means we can create however many groups. If we click four, it'll be the same thing as quartile. If we click 10, it'll be the same thing as decile. If we click eight, that's kind of our own unique scheme here. So here it tells you groups equals eight. There, it says groups equal four. If I click on quartiles, groups equal four. Click on deciles, groups equal 10. Entile, you know, equals eight. Now, the out, where is it going to go? It's going to go to a work file. But I can go to data and change this output to my new library if I want to, MPH data. And I can call it whatever I want. I just call it rank, you know, quartile. All right, I'm gonna hit OK on that. It just changed where it's gonna send it to if you're interested. And I can hit run. I hit the running guy. We end up getting something that looks like this. So all at the end, household income's the highest one we can see. I click on rank household. And at the very end, we can see it ranges from zero to seven. So instead of it being one to eight, it goes from zero to seven. And based on that scheme, we can um, make box plots or do other things where if we want to look at the data in a categorical way. There are circumstances where you may need to do that or want to do that. And there are other circumstances where it's just better to use the raw continuous data for what they are. So I'm going to show you now you may be interested in uh, saving your data. So in the event that I were to try to delete this, it's gonna say, do you want to save it? I'll say yes, that's a way of saving it. This is a SAS Studio file. Um, you have to click on one of these things. You know, if you don't, this uh, blue save button will be faded out. So until it turns blue with the white text, uh, you can't use it so you have to click on something to get it like it is I'm gonna overwrite this old one that I called rank data before just save it I'm gonna replace it alright now when I go back to server files and folders I can see also this uh, new file here rank .bdat, which means that it's like a SAS data file so I can double click on it. Now it opens up as its own, own thing. Um, if I were to want to work with that file, task and utilities, say I did something and I wanted to do statistics on it and summary statistics, you know, we've got a file here. We'd have to find rank quartile dot sas seven b b a t or something like it. I've got this folder called MPH data. There is rank quartile right there. And now I can, you know, run some command or whatever it is using that particular uh, data set. So there's a lot of different ways you can use this. Um, so this is just a, a summary of some options. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time uh, working with the saving and all that stuff with you guys uh, as much but um, just letting you know that's how you can build on to things so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video and we're gonna get into using um, categorical variables assessing correlations and all kinds of other good stuff